with uh, with Rick, and we just we just from a prayer walk. It was so good. The Holy Ghost was there. Uh, the guardian, the angels were there. It was so good. I could feel God's presence just there on the street. We just ministered to. You see that car over there? We ministered to the driver and the passenger on a red light, and it was so fun. It was funny. <laughs> So uh, we're just debriefing. We're just uh, talking about what. How did you feel, man? What do you feel God was doing and what was God telling you during that time? Well, what did the angel look like that you saw for that guy in the car? Uh, ghostly form. No, I, I didn't see like a vivid. Okay. Ghostly form. Uh, really tall. He was. He, he felt like he was standing, even though the car was par parked. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Huh. And there was some in the back seat. More angels? Yeah, just sitting there too. So those guys are like super blessed. Yeah, and they had probably had no idea. <laughs> and yeah, God told me, just tell them that there's a guardian angel uh, watching over them. And yeah, yeah, that was that. We uh, got to pray with and for our sister Crystal at McDonald's on 22nd. Uh, Lord blessed her and she wanted prayer for her family. Mm. The Lord gave me a second chance. Because I didn't uh, ask to pray for her the first time she walked by, and had to wait till she came back. Yeah. So now, now we're headed home, but it's it just feels so nice to to do what God tells you to do, like go out and preach, you know, the gospel. Well, Elisha exposed the spirit of Antichrist in a, in a young lady. <laughs> so basically, what happened is. <laughs> I saw, we were at the McDonald's, right? We're parked there. And I saw, um, I'll turn this up because the, the noise of the wind is just too much. Um, I saw, I saw this, this car park and the, the lady, the black lady was just watching us as we were just talking to people about Jesus. She was just watching us and smiling and just shaking her head in amazement. Like, oh my gosh, these guys are actually doing this. Then I, I, our eyes kind of like met, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk to them. And so I did. And hold on a second. Jesus loves you guys. I don't think they. Jesus loves you guys. <laughs> you don't think they what? They, I think he might have heard you. <laughs> it's like yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, the joy of the Lord is in strength. So yeah, that's funny. That is awesome. This is what I'll be doing now. I you can't be bored with Jesus, you know. It's just it's awesome. I love it. Yeah, thank you, Father. Thank you for Rick. Thank you for Christian people. Thank you, Lord and Jesus. So yeah, thank the story. The yeah, thank you for the fire, Lord. In Jesus' name. God bless you guys. So they're probably like, oh my gosh, what is he doing? Now oh, don't worry, I won't make it awkward with you guys. Fire falling you guys in Jesus' name. I don't know if you guys can see them. We're just praying for them there. How oh, they're gone. <laughs> so yeah. So when that girl we locked eyes, I went towards her. And obviously I was scared, but I asked Jesus to be with me and I went towards her and I'm like, yo, do you know Jesus? And she's like, yeah, I do. And as soon as we're talking, her friend comes out of work, and her friend is like, uh, uh, she's the the lady. The first lady I spoke to was Sudanese, and the, her friend was. She looked like she was from the Philippines, I, I believe. Uh, I didn't ask her. I asked her friend. Her friend said she was Sudanese. Um, then I'm like, does your friend, does your friend know uh, uh, Jesus? And her friend gets so defensive. She's like, I don't believe in Jesus. I'm like. You don't have to believe in Jesus. All I'm asking is consider what he did on the cross. And she's like, that's why she's my friend. She doesn't have to tell me about Jesus. I'm like, no, she doesn't. But all I'm saying is consider what Jesus did on the cross. And I told her, I'll walk away. I'm not here to bug your day or anything. And I told a friend in front of her, I'm like, tell her about Jesus. <laughs> and then I'm like, you girls have a lovely day. And I walked away. And the funny thing is that they stayed parked for like over five minutes without moving. You know, that's the funny thing. Because her friend was on my side. Because it's, it's like, 
Yo, yeah, I gotta tell you about Jesus. You know, it's like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> so it was so funny. It was so good. But I pray for her. Yeah. I pray that she okay. realizes that I'm not trying to get her into a religion. I'm not trying to get her to, you know, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know what people think when we talk about Jesus. Anyway, I just pray that she understands that there is a man who gave his life for her so that she wouldn't go to hell. That's the whole point. That she would be saved, that she would receive heaven on earth and go to heaven after that and come back and rule the world you know the whole christian stuff you know yeah but no no religious mumbo jumbo just lifestyle that she can walk in power she can walk in authority and that's it we're we're about reaching home right now you can see the brown houses and uh yeah praise the lord yeah right right watch out for this guy